In this section, we'll learn a little bit about the challenges that we have in building a machine learning web application, especially for prototyping. So if you go to Google and then say machine learning web app using, then you would suddenly see a lot of suggestions like Flask is there, you've got Streamlit is there, you've got Django is there. So you've got all these suggestions there. So the first problem that you usually face when you want to build a machine learning web application for prototyping, let's say, or even I can say that machine learning, machine learning web app, prototype web app using, yeah. So if you say this thing, now you would see, you would see a lot of, lot of suggestions. Uh, Flask is there again, like Streamlit is there, you would see Django somewhere. So the first problem that you have is, what is the solution that I should pick for my current need? And it could be anything, right? So you have solutions varying from Flask to Django to Streamlit and a lot of other solutions exist in this space. Especially in recent times, if you see a lot of new applications or libraries that help that that is there to create web application around your machine learning or data science model. So for example, the solutions like for example, if I go online and then look for Streamlit versus Flask versus then you see Django Dash, then versus, then you see Gradio. So basically, if you see the current space, you have all these different Python libraries that is there to create, that is there to help you create a web application around your machine learning solution. So it is very important for you to understand what is the problem that we have in the current space. The problem that we have in the current space is that you have either applications like Flask, which is usually used for a full stack web application using Python ecosystem, Flask or Django for that matter, or you have something like Streamlit, which is, which is again a very good application or library for you to create ML web application or even any web application of that sort. You can even build a Streamlit dashboard, analytical dashboard, and you can, you can do everything with Streamlit, but you don't need the level of knowledge of Flask or Django because Streamlit helps you wrap around all the important components in the form of Streamlit and you have got Streamlit separate components. So now when you see a world where you've got Streamlit and where you've got Flask and Django, now you would start wondering what is the one that I need to pick? And because this course is about Gradio, I would like to highlight where does Gradio fit in this stack? So if you see, like, let's go to the examples available on Hugging Face Spaces. So this is Hugging Face Spaces where we have got a bunch of applications available, okay? So now when you go to Spaces and then look for one of the most popular spaces, like these are the spaces of the week. So if I look at one of the most popular spaces, when I click it, it's loading. And you can you can actually see a Gradio application popping up. So this is, this is built with Gradio. So you have an input text, and then you need, you can you can do anything like multilingual summarization model and then you have the ability to select languages uh, and then you have an output designed out. so this is the typical use case where you want to use gradio over any other solution so my pitch here is let's say you want to build a startup and that startup should have like high scalability and then you want like a production grade application now now, now this is the time probably you would start using Flask or Django because that's what people do. So you have a Flask developer or a Django developer and then you put together full stack development team and then you can start productionizing your web application. Well, let, let's say like you are building the next Facebook, next Google or whatever the next is, right? If you are in that condition, if you are in that state, then you know for the web application that we are talking about, for the machine learning powered web application that we are talking about, you need a solution that is quite scalable that can handle a lot of different things, not just only machine learning, but you know, a lot of different things. So you would probably go with Flask or Django. And let's say like you are in a space where your solution is very confined to machine learning, especially data science machine learning, you want to build a dashboard, you want a Tableau alternative, um, you want easy wrappers around machine learning, you want like simple third party components, I would probably prefer to go with Streamlit there. Streamlit is highly flexible, I love Streamlit. And Streamlit also makes it easier for you to deploy. Okay, so this is where Streamlit. Now in this process, in this entire process, let's say you want to build an MVP. What is an MVP? MVP stands for Minimum Viable Product. This is a product that you would build to gain your customer confidence, to find out product market fit, to find out whether this is a product that people want to use. That is an MVP. 
The second thing is while your machine learning team is creating models, you want to make sure that the, you have the best model in place. You have the best in class state of the art model that is available for your customer. And so you, which means you're going to build a lot of models, like you're going to do an experiment, probably weights and biases, Comet, Neptune, whatever solution that you use for experiment. But at the same time, you also want somebody to actually play with the model that you have built. So now we are talking about two cases. One, you want to build an MVP, minimum viable product for your startup. Or second, you want to build a web application that is used for iterating your machine learning solution. Now, if you are in this situation, either of these situation, I would strongly recommend using Gradio because Gradio is specially built for this purpose, or at least in my opinion, like you could talk to Gradio's founder and then probably that person might have a different opinion. But if you ask me, if you look at Gradio, if you are in a corporate setup or if you are a hobby, hobbyist, machine learning hobbyist, or if you are somebody who is trying to build a web application or like a machine learning startup, like you could be an entrepreneur, you could be in academia, you could be a normal data scientist, like typical data scientist like me, or you could be a hardcore machine learning engineer who is working for um, Facebook artificial intelligence research or Google brain or some kind of organization. You could be any of these things. Now, one of the things that you would do across all these different verticals is that you need to iterate on your machine learning application. You need to build an MVP before your startup looks, you know, like goes big. So in that case, I would strongly prefer Gradio because Gradio gives me that flexibility to build something like very fast, very soon without having to be worried about, you know, scalability, without having to be worried about deployment, without having to be worried about what is the CSS style looks like? What is the style? Uh, how do I have to change my, you know, style? Uh, like what, how does the head headliner text should look like? I don't have to be worried about any of these things because this is the phase where I'm going to, if I'm, if I'm an entrepreneur, I'm going to probably focus on, you know, finding the product market fit, making more people use my product and finding how they feel about it. Like how do they feel about the solution? Or if I'm in academia or if I'm in like building a machine learning solution, I would be probably more interested in finding the best model that I can serve my customers with. So if you are caught in this situation, so you're not building the next Facebook, you're not building the next Twitter, you are not even, you know, building an analytics dashboard. If you are in this situation, but still you want a web application that is to be created fast, that is to be created and shared with everybody. And that also has, you know, some flexibility to deploy permanently then I would like completely support picking up Gradio for this purpose because I strongly feel Gradio is used for this purpose. So if you come across a question like Gradio versus Streamlit versus Flask versus Django anywhere on the internet, then probably my take on that is you have to use different products, different libraries for different stages of your product life cycle if you're an entrepreneur. So if you are in an MEP phase, I would close my eyes and then pick Gradio. If you're on a phase where I'm going to deploy my production grade machine learning solution, I would probably go with um, like, um, if, if it is only a machine learning solution, if it is only a machine learning solution, probably I would go with Streamlit again, like slightly an enhanced version of um, MVP. But if you want like a production grade solution, like let's say I'm building the next Facebook or uh, Twitter something, then I would probably go with uh, Django, something that is people, uh, something that is people usually use for production grade web application, something that can compete with the JavaScript ecosystem. So this is how I usually see this problem, but um, you can see the natural problem that we have here. The problem that we have here is not about which solution to pick, but generally if you want to build a web application, you don't want like you don't want web application, building a web application to be an overhead for your current problem. So your current problem is solving a machine learning problem and you have to just solve that. You cannot sit and spend your time on learning how to, you know, connect your APIs within Java, uh, like a Flask. You cannot, you cannot think about how to, you know, get your app router to a particular link. You cannot do all those things. These are like roadblocks. These can inhibit your progress in your machine learning research or application or whatever you do, right? Whether it is machine learning research or applied machine learning. You don't want a solution that can stay in your way, prohibiting inhibiting your progress in doing something greater than just building an application. You want a solution that should make it much, much easier, just like an icing on the cake to enable you build a web application that can help you serve your web application. Sorry, that can help you serve your machine learning solution as a web application that the entire world can use. I would strongly pick Gradio. So 
if you are wondering why gradio then you do you have the answer in this video which is to say that i would pick gradio whenever i want to show machine learning demo whenever i want people to use my models whenever i want to build an mvp and whenever i want people to actually you know play with the model and iterate on it and then finalize the best solution so internal or external customer facing or um, internal you know like machine learning engineers iterating whatever this is uh, this is a place where i would probably pick gradio over any other existing solution because every solution has its own place in the machine learning life cycle or product development life cycle so for this particular phase i would pick gradio and then we will learn more about gradio as well in this course